So with the 27 inch iMac being discontinued and the Mac Studio being positioned as a replacement, many have been wondering about Ross Young's tidbits since a few weeks ago he did say that the 27 inch iMac would launch in June. While Ross Young has clarified on a few details and so let's delve into it but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours and with that being said let's just talk in. So Ross Young clarifies today that the 27 inch mini LED panel he heard about was actually a new display, not the iMac Pro. So yes, his sources got confused because this display has a chip, it has a webcam, speakers, and a mic, and so they thought this was an iMac, but do remember the recently announced studio display has an A13 chip to make center stage and spatial audio work, and so I'm assuming that's the same case here where this display also has a chip. But this chip is most likely not an M1 Max or an M1 Ultra, so yes, for those waiting for the large iMac, we may never see it. Now regarding the display itself, Ross Young says this is going to be a Studio Display Pro, so it's going to be the same 27 inch size, but of course with mini LED tech, which is going to improve the blacks and the colours and the brightness of the panel. And by the way, panel production has begun for this, it began this month according to Ross Young, so yes, we are very much on schedule for a WWDC release. Ross Young says we could also see the Mac Pro launch alongside this display, so I do think this is supposed to be a small version of the new Pro Display. In fact, I would not be surprised if the new Pro Display does come in two sizes, a 27 inch and of course the 32 inch size we have right now. In fact, you might remember 9to5Mac mentioned a 7K high-end panel that Apple could launch and that could be the bigger version of the display Ross Young mentions in this new report. And fingers crossed these Pro Displays are much cheaper than the original but I doubt it since mini LEDs expensive to produce. Now Ross Young says that comparing this to the Pro Display we have right now, this has twice the amount of mini LED zones and more than seven times the amount of LEDs. So yes, this sounds very high-end, I'm sure it's gonna look great, and I'm hoping we do see 120Hz alongside these upgrades. But tell me your thoughts on this rumoured display in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the link above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.